Hello Pisces, welcome to your Sunday Shuffle. This week we're going to look at Pathways, Purpose and Prosperity, yes? Just a FYI, it can be very, very encouraging to see yourself reflected in pathways and career stuff, but it can also be discouraging if you don't see yourself in it because it can get very specific, I understand. Check your other placements, I promise you will find yourself in there somewhere, okay? What's going on please for Pisces? Purposes, pathways, prosperity principles, career, job, function, form. What's going on here for Pisces, please? Freedom, let go, time to decide. Okay, some of you are thinking about shifting. It hasn't quite happened yet, but you're in that particular process. Freedom, you're free to do what you choose. Yes, let go. Walk away from a situation in order to resolve it. And other, a time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. So some of you are in this position of letting go of a particular pathway, job, career, something like that. Uh, you have the freedom to choose, which is lovely. But you do have to choose. It's time to decide for some of you. And some of you are like, Pisces, it's time to make a decision. It's time to make a decision, Pisces. Are we sticking with this? Are we going to move? Are we going to transition? Are we going to switch jobs? What are we going to do? And, uh, you know, it's time to decide. But it is going to require letting go of one so that you might acquire another. Let's see what you're thinking about. Let's get, to, let's get some more for you, please. It's time. Some of you might have two or three jobs, by the way, and you're thinking of dropping one. It's time to decide. Let it go. Some of you, it might be a matter of contract renewals coming up, and it's time to make that particular decision. Others of you have been afforded new opportunities or thinking about other opportunities, and it's going to require you to let go. You're going to have to have strength. Oh, boy, we've got a consistent message today, strength and death. So this is a letting go by choice. Let's make that clear. Uh, we're lopping off a particular opportunity, either A, to acquire a new one, or B, you just don't need it anymore. Okay, we got to have the strength to let that go, to transform it to other things, or just to kind of move on, move away from this, or to acquire more freedom into something else that might better suit you. Okay, let's get cracking. Let's throw down some terror for you. Okay, show me Pisces, please. Show me Pisces, please, in that prosperous energy. Career, strength, purpose. What's going on here, please, for Pisces? Show me that Piscean energy, please. Show me that Piscean energy, please. What's going on for that Piscean energy, please? Ah, the devil. Six of swords. Oh, we're afraid to let go. I understand. To transition, to move on to a pinnacle. So some of you do have two jobs. Uh, and three of swords, there's the fear. There's a fear to let one go. But your oracles are telling me you don't need it. However, the choice is yours. Some of you are holding on to more than one job, career, oh, goodness me, or roles. It could be one job where you are expected to wear multiple hats and you want to relinquish one. But there's a fear in letting it go, something, in some way. And the idea is, is what if I lose this, reject it, and it comes back to haunt me? What if it's not a resource for me anymore? Some of you are just so used to holding on to this. But they're also saying the luxury of choice is yours and not many people. And that is indeed a luxury. Some people cannot choose to quit. They cannot choose to change and they cannot choose to transform. They've told me multiple times it's time for you to decide to let it go. It's with you. You don't have to keep it or retain it. So that's entirely up to you and that's the Pisces I'm looking at. So if it's not you, check your other placements because this Pisces has the clear, distinct decision. Let's see what's weighing on your mind, honey. Show me the devil, please. Show me the devil. Show me the devil. Show me the devil, please. Show me the devil, please. Show me that devil, please. Four Pisces. Show me that devil, please. I'm being very cautious. I keep looking at the camera because I had a little malfunction earlier. And I'm not happy with that. Wasted about a half hour of film. Okay. Two of cups. Ten of cups. Four of swords. Healing. Healing on this. You've been healing on this for a while. I've got a very strong uh, support system surrounding you that's saying, mm, Pisces, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. You're like, that's not helping me. <laughs> that's <laughs> okay. And that's in a way, it's not helping you. And I, I'm glad that, and I'm thankful. I'm happy that you are surrounded by so much emotional support, family and friends who are like, Pisces, you need to do what you need to do for you. And that doesn't seem to be helping you because your devil's like, don't let go, Pisces. You might need me later. So while your friends and family, they're supporting you to relax around the subject, just take your time, think it through, it hasn't helped too much. 
a big part of you relinquishing or potentially relinquishing the, whatever this role is is because of family and friends. Apparently, you feel very responsible to provide for many, many people. It looks like there's someone there personally with you as well as a larger extent of networks surrounding you. So there's this idea, if I let this go, many people could be at jeopardy. I think that's your fear playing on you. Okay, and the devil has a way of whispering to us, "You need this. You need this. You need this. You might, you might pay for it later if you don't keep it." You know. So some of you have a pattern or a trap concept. It's so what we do is we take our fears and project it on family and friends, and it's like if I lose this, then everyone else will suffer because of it, and that's all on me. That's that's the devil talking. Because as far as I can tell, your family and friends are like, "You do what you should do, Pisces. You know, you can give or take that. That's great. So if you don't want it, let it go. If you want to keep it, keep it." Um, because as far as I can tell, honey, you don't want this. The option is very strongly yours to keep it. Um, I want to dig a little deeper. I want to look at, dig just a little deeper on that deck. I want to see what kind of garbage he's putting in your ear. Uh, and the family and friends is a big one already, as it is. Especially if you have a spouse, if you're head of household, if you've got kids, or you just have family relying on you. Yeah, it's going to be very easy for that devil whisper. You should you should stay in this job, Pisces, even though you're fucking miserable and you don't like it. Because if something happens, your family's affected and then it's your fault. That's the devil. It's your fears. It's not necessarily based on rationality. It, uh, well, actually, at all. <laughs> the star, the ace of wands, and the nice of pentacles. You've been slowly but surely moving in a particular direction that says this is what I actually desired for some time a long time you have a new star pathway ahead of you and it's keeping you this devil energy is keeping you from moving forward to it or you're in it and it's just going very very slow because you can't put your full weight energy your full energy weight i should say into your new pathway because you're still engaging in another one in other words you can't fully give yourself to this one and it really excites you it ignites you it's interesting it is it requires energy, but a good passionate kind of energy. There's some sort of self-expression in here. And a star, it connects you to other things. People, places, situations. It has a certain glamour to it. It does. You've been moving towards this, but I can't see you putting your full weight into it because you're still attached to something else that does not satisfy you, but you keep engaging in it. You know, whereas this one has so much more promise. And again, there's a touch of glamour in here. I can't quite see it, but there's a little bit of glamour in it. I don't know why. And it has some travel, too. It looks like there might be some travel. Not a lot, but enough that it keeps you going towards it. it. There's some movement surrounding this. There's a touch of glamour, expression. There's some heat. There's interest. There's intrigue. What is this? It's shiny. It's so shiny. And it has the promise of other things attached to it. Like this particular star pathway could lead you into other things as well. Uh, but again, you can't put your full weight into it because something else here, you're still messing with it. And I know where it's coming from, but as far as I can tell, honey, your family and friends support you. It's your own misgivings that keep you trapped into something that doesn't seem to do well for you. And the Six of Swords. It's a slow kind of travel. There's glamour attached to this. There's a little bit of travel. There's some intrigue. You get to see new things. You get to see new places. Where's this? There's a. There's lights. Cameras. There's cameras. There's cameras, camera film. Screenings? You get to do screenings? I keep seeing lights and cameras. I, I told you there's a little bit of glamour attached to it. I can't quite see it. I don't know how you're involved, but there's a little bit of glamour attached to it. Projectors. Activity. It's very interesting, but the idea here is that this, this pathway that's so shiny and bright, it could lead me to other things. I agree. It seems to be that way, too. Show me that Six of Swords, please. Queen of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. Yeah, there's that's a very strong holding pattern right there. We have not fully moved on from this. That is a very strong holding on pattern. And it, it, again, it's coming from a... What's that Queen of Cups doing? I'm not sure that that's you. Four of Cups, the Four of Pentacles hesitation revolving around conservation just in case we need the money oh just in case you need the money is that you you told me that you're supported by family and friends perhaps there's one person though that's a little bit more direct to you that's saying hold on to this just in case we need the money it's not a lot but hey just in case that just in case seems like it's wearing on you really hard. 
You haven't fully moved on from a Six of Swords, and that's because I, I got one lingering energy that's like, hold on to this just in case. Just in case. And it's that voice of holding on to this just... It was already bad enough in you, but seeing it reflected in someone else is just reinforcing your double then. So that's not a positive... They, they might be a loving influence, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a positive influence regarding your particular career choices. So that's something to think about in terms of perhaps don't desire this person's influence because they're not the one who has to fulfill the role. So I'm sorry. If they're not the one that has to fulfill the role, I understand influence and talking things through with significant others and spouses, but at the end of the day, it's either your role to fulfill or it isn't. It's either your function or it isn't. Um, so I don't like this. Well, don't move on from it totally. It's like they're saying, can't you just reduce your time in it um, and hold on to it just in case? And again, I just, I see you already so busy though. I already see you being so busy. How many jobs do you need, honey? How many roles are you expected to have? So I, I, so that devil is, isn't just coming from you. I think the vast majority of your support system supports you and letting this go. But there's a part of you that's used to holding on to this out of fear, and then I got someone else who kind of digs in there in that vein as well. Okay. It, like I said, ultimately it's your role to fulfill or not fulfill at the end of the day. I just feel like there is a pentacle here that has more of your full calling in terms of put all your energy into this and stop diversifying it because it's just wearing you down. Show me that two of pentacles, please. Show me that two of pentacles. Show me that two of pentacles. It's like, just don't put so much of yourself into it and keep it. You know, it's not, don't take it so personally. Just keep it as a side gig. It's like, yeah, but you're not the one fulfilling it, are you? So they might benefit from the extra monetary input, but they're not the one fulfilling it. Like, just don't take it personally. Just fulfill the job, make the money, and, and don't take it personally. And that's easier said than done when you're not the one doing it. You understand? So, I don't know about that. I I, mm, I don't like that. It's Knight of Cups, the, the lovers, the, it's not just worth... See, that's what I'm saying. You want to take contract and really put your most concentrated energies into the best contract. So, the lovers is the ideal contract in career. And it denotes that it's it's... It's the ultimate contract, not just in word and deed or money, but mentally what feels correct, emotionally what feels correct, and spiritually what feels correct. And I have two knights taking the, the most direct action they can towards a primary source. So what I see here is that you are wanting to consolidate your energies from two concepts or multiple roles and put them into one because you're tired. <laughs> and and you're, you're, you're kind of tired of holding on to one thing just in case. It's like if I could put all of my weight and energy and effort and my most sincere energy and effort into one ideal contract, it would get the best of me and further lead me into other things. But I'm constantly being pulled back to fulfill another role that I don't want to fulfill anymore. You see what I'm saying? I wish I could get some specificity on what this is. All I can see is your new one here. You don't get to put as much of yourself into it. Because part of you holds back to fulfill another obligation. But this one has the promise of leading you into more things. You know that, but you can't give to it full time. Not yet. And there's a touch of glamour on it. So I'm sorry it's so vague, but I see lights. Lights, screens, people. There's a brightness surrounding it. It's a little artistic. And it has a certain level of visibility that makes you feel good. You get to connect with certain people and see dreams. You literally get to see dreams. Other people's dreams. Where you help them fulfill dreams on the screen. I don't know why I keep coming back to that. It's it's like pictures. Dreams and pictures. Um, some of you work in the film industry. Some of you work in um, social media endeavors where you actually get to meet stars. I don't know. But there's, like I said, there's a touch of glamour and it's spinning sometimes. It spins you. It's like, wow, look at this world I'm in. Um, I can't, I can't quite know how to explain it. I'm sorry. Some, perhaps television. I don't know. Show me this three of swords. Show me this three of swords. Okay. Show me this three of swords. The rejection. It's breaking your heart. Again, I... We want to take this juggling concept of the two pinnacles, consolidate it to the best one. I agree. That's where you actually are leaning. And it is your choice. You don't have to drop this other thing. I do know this other thing keeps you from fully launching yourself into this, this primary career or career option that you feel, and with good reason, could lead you into other things. Let's do another. I don't feel like that's enough. I don't 
Turn that three swords, please. It's not quite right. There we go. That's better. I tell me go back and shuffle some more. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Seven of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Pentacles. Exactly. 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 That's what I'm saying. It is up to you. It's at your discretion. Um, I think you splitting your time between two distinct roles, either with one, one institution, is bumming you out. Or you have two completely different jobs and one is bumming you out. Like you would like to devote more of your upfront energy into a solid contract that you seem to understand this glamorous one could take you further out but you can't go further out when 40% of you it looks like 40% that is so specific pulls you back into something else and as far as I can tell the only reason you're keeping it and also being encouraged to keep it by at least one other person just in case and there's memory attached to it there is memory attached to it. There's a fondness attached to it. But it's not really yours, is it? It's the other person's. There's a fondness attached to the other gig. Anyway, in terms of that Three of Swords, the heartbreak and the pain is the Seven of Wands, rejection principle. I don't want to do this anymore. The Wheel of Fortune, time has passed. King of Pentacles, you're going to have to trust your own instincts as provider, head of household, the resourceful one, the one who gathers. He's ultimately going to have to call the shots over a career move as opposed to, say, a king or queen of cups would. Practically speaking, with our most practical head on in terms of longevity, resourcefulness, comforts, and personal finance, he's got to call the shots. So part of him, that king of pentacles, is going to be tempted to keep both gigs because that means more monetary output. However, a high-ranking king of pentacles is going to understand if I drop one and focus more on the other, I can gain more resources out of that. So it kind of depends on that king of pentacles prerogative and or point of view and sense of development. Uh, a not great or well-developed King of Pentacles will try to keep as much as possible to acquire much wealth as possible, but that doesn't mean the time, energy, and effort is well spent. The, a king, a real King of Pentacles is going to consolidate effort. The idea is work smarter, not harder. So it depends on where we are on the development scale. If we want to launch ourselves entirely into one gig, it seems to be literally at your discretion. And in so doing, you can put more weight into this, and it can literally launch you into other things. And that's a long-term vision, King of Pentacles. And upfront, short-term, King of Pentacles is be like, I'm going to keep both, even though one is not great for me. But hey, it's more money. But it keeps me from really getting into my star pathway. So I see it being at your discretion, honey. Time has passed. It's time to decide. Are you going to reject one? Okay. Firmly reject it. I'm done with this. Time's up. I've made a decision. Or are you going to keep both? It is at your discretion. As far as I can tell, this other gig, it has served its purpose in some way in your life. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been there at all. But it looks like we're keeping it out of fear for at least one person. And the other person's kind of attached to it from a just-in-case perspective. An emotional fondness, I believe not necessary love for the monetary output so uh i hope that helped you what you'll ultimately i do i do not know some of you look to the influence of someone else to help you figure out if you want to break from this or not yeah um they would it, it's looking like that advice would be that they, they, they would advise you to break from it that person that you might listen to in a particular influence um strong-willed they would want you to choose the healthiest option for you and they would suggest a break this is someone else someone a friend who we get advice from some sort of soulmate here that we get advice from they would advise you to break from it and really put yourself into that which best serves you because they understand too it could lead you to other things but that's their advice i don't know why they got my attention but it did okay um but you know you gotta listen to yourself at the end of the day honey all right otherwise i think you have support a little bit of luck there little bit of luck there's that decision <laughs> there's the decision crossroads left right door one door two a b we need a little bit of luck here there's i i told you i i, I felt it i was like i wasn't convinced it was you just because it was queen of cups didn't mean it was you honey i don't know that this is you don't get me wrong you could be that mature woman and you're holding on to the second 40 percent job let's call it out of habit or emotional reminiscence um memories and stuff i just 
I feel like this is the other influence. Otherwise, you got support from family and friends to do what you need to do. But this is one other person who kind of reinforces your devil fear. Hold on to it just in case. Just, just in case. Besides, the extra money doesn't hurt, does it? They're not the one fulfilling the role. You are. So you got to figure out what kind of king of pentacles you are. Are you a long-term king of pentacles? Or are you a short-term? Long-term, this is the best use of my energy. Therefore, I put all of myself into it, and I get a higher payout in the long term. Okay? All right. Uh, there you go. Let's see. I'm not quite sure when you are supposed to make your decision, but it feels like you're supposed to be making it relatively soon. Yeah, there's the shift, the change in the winds as we speak. So for some of you, you're upon your annual renewal contract with whatever that 40% gig is. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, there's that sense of change. And Okay. See... <laughs> Adjudication and journey. Um, there's something that just constantly takes away from your time and travel, and it's justified. It is justified, but it's kind of like, man, it's it's. There's that transactional back and forth energy with the journey. Journey's supposed to be good, but we're looking at it like, is this the best use of my time? Because it seems to take away from time. That's not necessarily the benefit of money. Overall, the overall effect is this the best use of my time. I can justify it. That doesn't mean it's a good use of my time. Exactly. Long-term versus short-term King of Pentacles thinking. All right. I hope this helped you. You put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.